Arsenal wonder kids moment of brilliance, nothing new for Arteta. Mikel Arteta wasn't surprised by Ethan and Waniri's brilliant goal against Preston in the EFL Cup on Wednesday, claiming the Arsenal wonder kid regularly performs such feats in a training. Nwaniri has slowly but surely been building his way into the Arsenal first team and earlier this season netted a brace in their 5-1 win over Bolton Wanderers in the EFL Cup third round. The 17-year-old was once again given the start in the fourth round as the Gunners travelled to Deepdale and put in a stunning performance that included a 98% pass completion rate, 7 passes into the final third and 5 touches in the opposition box. But in Waniri's best moment by far came in the 33rd minute when he received the ball outside the box from Gabriel Jesus before shifting it across to his left foot and unleashing a rocket of a shot into the top corner to give Arsenal a tunnel lead. The manner of Nwaniri's goal was likened to feel fodden by Sky Sports commentator Laura Hunter, but for Arteta, this was just a run-of-the-mill Nwaniri moment that he pulls out regularly, he said. He did it yesterday in a training, so we are used to that. He is a big talent. He's got the right attitude, he's got the right players and context around him and we need to make sure that we put brick by brick in the right order but we have some player here. On the teenager's character, he said, so much personality there, he wants every ball, he wants to make things happen outside and around, he is still a bit quiet as usual, he is 17 years old, very respectful, his work ethic is tremendous and he loves what he does, you can tell that. Arteta was asked about Nwaniri again later in his press conference, adding, It's unbelievable, but he does it in training almost every day. He's got this quality, his personality. He is there to make things happen. He doesn't care who he's got around him. He needs to make the decision for himself. He does it, and he scored a fantastic goal. Poundit explains why he's been left disappointed by Declan Rice at Arsenal this season. Arsenal, of course, haven't been helped by injuries and suspensions this season, but the form of some of their star players has been questionable too. Gabriel Martinelli hasn't been at his best this term, while Gabriel Jesus also looks off the boil. Speaking on Insider Gunners, Adrian Clark has been discussing Declan Rice's performances this season and he says that he has been slightly disappointed by the midfielder, claiming that he thought he would seriously kick on this season. Clark shared his verdict on the England international and his performances this term. The Pounded says that while Rice hasn't played poorly, he hasn't quite improved in the way he expected him to. After a solid first season for Arsenal, he said, I have been a little bit disappointed with Declan Rice's form this season. I don't think he's been bad by any stretch of the imagination. He's been okay and I think that most of us would have expected him to maybe accelerate his own development under Mikel Arteta a little bit quicker because I think there is a big ceiling for Declan Rice. It might be that he's been not settled into one position. He is having to play holding midfielder one day, then it's a box to box the next. I thought he was really calm and I think that he had a presence about him in this game. Clark is right, Rice has been disappointing this season, but there is reason to believe he could be about to improve. Indeed, now that Mikel Merino is back fit, Mikel Arteta can finally utilize the plan he had for Rice in the preseason. Arteta always thought that Merino would complement Rice well in the midfield, and we started to see glimpses of that against Liverpool at the weekend. However, with Martin Odegaard still injured, Arsenal's midfield balance still isn't quite right and that's leading to Rice perhaps trying to do too much in the middle of the park. Once Arsenal can field a first-choice midfield three of Rice, Merino and Odegaard, we should see all three players performing to the best of their abilities and positions that truly suit the trio. Don't be surprised if there is a real uptick in performance from Rice in the coming weeks after a slow start to the new season. Forgotten Arsenal man is approving Arteta wrong in a stunning loan spell. Arsenal continue to make big strides under the leadership of Mikel Arteta and having formed a very competitive squad in North London, the Spaniard might have made a mistake by allowing Nuno Tavares to leave during the summer. 
The left back position is an area of the pitch that Arteta is yet to fully sort out, as the Spanish coach has experimented with several players in the role over the last two seasons. Ricardo Calafiori was signed during the summer, with an eye on establishing the Italian as the Gunners' long-term left back. However, the 22-year-old set to miss the next few weeks due to injury. It would not be a bad time for the North London club to have Nuno Tavares available for selection. The Portuguese star has been with Arsenal since 2021, but has spent the past three seasons out on loan, as Arteta doesn't seem to fancy the 24-year-old. The fullback joined Lazio on loan during the summer of the 24-25 campaign and has been shining in Italy as part of a back four. Tavares has featured in seven games for the Rome-based side and has provided seven assists to help Lazio clamp to sixth in the Serie A standings. Marco Baroni seems to be getting the best out of the defender, and if he continues to perform like this, could the Portuguese star have a future at Arsenal? Despite his success with Lazio, it feels like Tavares had his time to prove himself at Arsenal, and no matter what he does in Italy, he will not be in Arteta's plans going forward. The Portuguese talent played 28 times for the Gunners since he arrived in 2021, producing just one goal and two assists. Ultimately, the left-back is not good enough for the levels Arsenal and Arteta hope to reach, and with Calafiori on the scene, the likely outcome for the defender is that he will be sold permanently in 2025. Newcastle United Evaluating Possible Replacement for Arsenal Transfer Target Newcastle United are reportedly eyeing up Paris Saint-Germain striker Randall Colo Mouani, as Alexander Isaac's future seems to be in some doubt amid links with Arsenal. Isaac has been a star performer for Newcastle and is tied down to a contract until 2028 at James Park, but that hasn't stopped speculation about interest from the Gunners. A recent report from Team Talk recently described Isaac as a dream target for Arsenal, while Arsenal journalist Charles Watts also spoke exclusively to Kaut offside about his admiration for the Sweden international. Now a report from Vigac states that Newcastle could be preparing for Isaac's potential departure by looking at Kolo Mouani, whose own future is in doubt after some difficulties showing his best form at PSG. Newcastle fans won't want to see a top talent like Isaac leave, but it was surely always going to be difficult to hold on to him, while the club struggled to make that step up to being regulars in the Champions League. Newcastle have a lot of money behind them, and will no doubt be ambitious about challenging the established Big Six, but while they are still in something of a transitional period, that surely means big names like Isaac will attract interest from elsewhere. Arsenal arguably need a centre-forward like Isaac right now, as Kai Havertz has become the main man up front, even though striker is not necessarily even his best position. Meanwhile, Gabriel Jesus has proven a bit of a flop at the Emirates Stadium, so Isaac would likely be a major upgrade. If the 25-year-old does move on, then the Magpies could do well to bring in Colo Mouani as a replacement, though fans will perhaps be concerned that this planning is already taking place. The France international has shown decent potential in his career, but he'd probably be a bit of a downgrade on Isaac, who would also be strengthening a rival if he were to move to Arsenal. Arsenal very interested in fantastically effective Saka replacement with explosive pace. Bukayo Saka has persistent injury problems that could well see Arsenal enter the transfer market to buy a player that will provide cover for him at worst. The international ace was ruled out of a recent England game, though Mikel Arteta was given a boost ahead of Arsenal's match against Liverpool, a game in which Saka scored incidentally and set a record in doing so. At just 23 years of age, Saka is already one of Mikel Arteta's most important players, but his injury record has left a few question marks as to his availability. Transfer market note that he suffered any injury, hamstring injury, ankle injury, hip problems, dead leg, thigh problems, and a leg injury over the past few seasons, which has to be a concern. Perhaps with that in mind, Football Insider notes that the Gunners are interested in taking Leroy Sané from Bayern Munich. The former Man City ace could certainly provide the North Londoners with something different, and with his Bayern contract due to end in June, he will surely be one of the most sought after free transfers next summer. 
Former Premier League scout Mike Brown said to Football Insider the following, Arsenal certainly among the interested clubs. He is fantastically effective. He's got explosive pace and he is still only 28. It's a good age. I have often wondered why Man City let him leave and why no clubs in England had tried to sign him before he went to Bayern. But now with his contract situation, I'd expect to see him move. Arsenal are very interested in him from what I have been told. He can play on the left and provide cover for Saka, which they separately need. Now they are not the only club interested. We have spoken about Newcastle before and there are others, but Arsenal are certainly keen and I think it's one they have been working on in the background for a while. Not only would he add quality to their side, but he brings winning experience to which is always something clubs like Arsenal are looking to bring in. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.